Hello friends, this is the first time farmer, over 50. Welcome to the homestead. So where we are today, we are in sector N, N is in November, and I don't know if you can see, over there on the hillside, um, see the tree right here? Um, right, just to the right of that tree, there's a pink flag, if you can see it. Um, but that is the center of N, so I'm north east of that right now so the area um, that i'm filming today i have not done a close-up of it before but uh, i wanted to spend a little time down here today the reason for this is this is one of the areas that really made me um, think about regenerative farming um, this is an area where my brothers and I used to come and play when I was little, so just about 50 years ago. And uh, it has changed quite a bit in that time. So here's the creek running down through here. Now, um, if you see that log laying there, kind of on that little peninsula, um, about where the, the trunk of that, or the, where it hits the ground, right at the base of that tree, um, about there, maybe a little bit over to the right, maybe a couple few feet. Um, but from there over to here, this was all flat. This was straight across, okay? And there used to be a little cave right here. It went back in maybe about six or so feet. So, so from basically where that, uh, where that meets the ground, the end of that tree, over to here, uh, this is all solid. Now, I don't know if you can, how much you can see, but that has eroded away significantly in the last 50 years. I mean, that's a good, that's a good four feet drop there. And um, so you see that, that large tree across the creek. So where that tree is crossing, that used to be where the creek was. It was just a little divot in the ground. I mean, it was like maybe eight inches deep. I mean, that's all it was, but now it's, you know, it's a good four feet up there. So this land has, this area has been untouched for basically the last 50 years, um, at least the last 50 years. I mean, we haven't come down here on a regular basis for at the very least 45 and probably more like 50. Um, but it has just uh, eroded away. And um, there's no reason for it, you would think. I mean, we're just, there's been no farming, no tillage, no nothing in this area. But uh, all it is is water running through. So, um, this is one of the areas where I'm looking to do some, um, tr trying to stop this from occurring or slowing it down or something. Um, maybe uh, so I've seen Greg Judy in low areas drop some round bales so uh, I think maybe I'll do that but I'm not going to let any livestock down in here as that would be bad news just make it worse so um, I was going to walk down that way but there's so much stuff here and things I have to jump over I don't know if that's really possible but I'm, I'm standing about five feet four and a half to five feet above uh, the bed of this creek right here so um, but it has definitely washed away and we look up the hillside I don't know if you can see there's the house over there and then the roads up there basically where you see the horizon that's the road um, but the goal here is to keep all that stuff up where it is stop washing away and keep this from washing away so I just wanted to make a quick video of that just to give you an idea of um, why I want to do this, trying to keep, keep the land as it is and trying to keep it from washing away. So that should do it for now. So thanks again for watching. And uh, if you're inclined, hit subscribe and hit like. We'd appreciate it. And as always, we hope to see you in the future. But if not, we will see you in the pasture.